Every day, and I mean, I, I'm gonna have a hard time getting through this, but oh, I've, I've, re much. I've rehearsed this speech for 30 years. I've been dreaming of doing this for a long time. And <laughs> I got a, you know, I played, I played professional golf at different levels and all that. And I only played in 10 team sports in my life. Five on the soccer team and five in uh, baseball with Dave and everybody. And then I was talking to some of my friends and guys that played played sports at Stanford and all these other places and they've got scholarships everywhere and it's really, really rare to win a championship in a team deal. Now, I've won team championships with another golf pro and things like that, but as far as an actual team where you actually have to depend on other players and you interact like in baseball and soccer and football, team championships are extremely rare. And one thing we wanted to say right away is we all played soccer before school, recess, lunchtime, after school, every day, all day long. It was a religion for us uh, on top of Catholicism. And Zuger <laughs> was on, on the field, and we'd play, and when one team got five goals, goals, goals ahead, he'd switch teams, okay, and he'd play. And then all of a sudden, we're, we're always doing pretty well in soccer, and we're always second or third in the league. And then all of a sudden, here we come in sixth grade, and we don't know what happens, but there's no coach. And then here comes Mr. Storino, and one of the things I got the biggest kick out of later on in my life, you don't need to realize this when you're 11 or 12, but when you're an adult and you're raising kids and you're doing all this, you've got four children. And both your boys are beyond us. So, you know, most coaches coach because their kid's playing on the team. And all of a sudden, you got Bobby and Mike, they're gone, and then you took on our team. And that was a huge, huge commitment. You're raising a family. You're going to school, and then you take on our team. And then on top of that, not only that, but... I coach a lot of kids, and I coach a lot of juniors, and Matt's coach, and, I'm, and, and Tommy's probably coach, and a lot of us have done, handled a lot of kids in, 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 in sports and other things, and one of the, you taught us responsibility, trust in our teammates, accountability, and you made us realize that hard work can be fun, and, that's, and that year was fun. It was super fun. And I, like I was telling Greg, I didn't know the championship game was the championship game. I was just playing and going, oh, cool, we get to play another game. Oh, cool. And all of a sudden, we won, we won. And I said, okay, who do we play next? And you say, no, it's over. And I'll never forget that whole year. I don't ever think you ever told us, we got to win this game. This is important. we got to do this. It was always about, okay, we're going to do this. you got your areas. And like Dave and I... I was the right wing, Dave was my right half back, and Daryl was the inside right. And we, you taught us, and you did on the other left hand side, you taught us everywhere else. We had a three man game going all the time, where sometimes I'd take it back and Dave would shoot ahead, and I'd be half back momentarily, and then Daryl would shoot over, and we got this little triangle going, and we're 11 years old. And, and to, to, to get 11 year olds to do stuff like that, you said, no, no, you don't go play defense, Tom. You stop at the 35-yard line. You wait here. They're, let them handle it. You're just going to gum up things. So you, you really... And then the, how many times do you remember when he came on the field and he'd go, come on, you guys, I can show you this. And all of a sudden, he's, he's 40 years old and he's running around the field. And those things, when you, when you talk to psychologists and all that, you say, what was your childhood like? And... For me, it's like I go right back to, to Coach Dorino and I'm going, you know what? I've got 75 championship golf trophies, five different states, three different continents, okay? I've won Northwest Player of the Year. I've won Washington Player of the Year. You can bury me in this, in this trophy. <laughs> this is going in my casket. You guys, any of you guys want to go to my house right now? And take any of that other crystal, go ahead. But try and get this out of my hands, okay? And so I just, I just, we all thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And that's, that's a big deal. It's, it's, I can't even believe I got through that speech because it's really emotional to me that what you did and you gave us, and these guys are all fantastic people. You've, you've, you've built engineer. I mean, Tommy's, Tommy's a great 
Greg's an accountant, I think, and, and all these people, are, we've, we've been successful in life, and half of it is because of you. And the, 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 the foundation and the principles you gave us way back then, yeah, the soccer champion's great, but you gave us a championship in life, so appreciate it. Wow, absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Here, here.